There are things in your life that you buy once or twice, and then there are the things that you buy again and again and again, and we're here to talk about them. Listen, guys, we got the breakdown for you. Here are 20 things that I would buy again in a heartbeat if somehow they were to be stolen, lost, taken away, or break on me. I would just go back to the store and order another one. Woo! These Some of these are everyday items. Some of these are items you have not thought of, so... David, take us through this list, man. What is your criteria for a great product Listen. that is worthy of your money more than one time? Listen, guys, it's 2024. I don't think a 4.0 rating is enough on Amazon nowadays. You're looking for 4.3 possibly 4.5 and up because Mickey. you know why you know why because sometimes if it's a, if it's even a four it could mean that there's a flaw or and you know how some people fake their reviews nowadays yeah yeah it's it's tough but you, you can you so can. anyway guys make sure you like subscribe turn on your notifications because you know from macro big picture things to small picture things we're giving you guys coaching guess what has a 4.6 on amazon Small ass sauce, and we didn't fake these ratings, guys. Uh, all real ratings, 43 ratings, I think 42 ratings right now. Check it and out. And it's on Prime. And it's on Prime, yep, guys. Yep, yep. Look, listen, I think that Amazon really opened up people to a whole segment of affordable luxury. For example, Andrew, one of the most popular items bought ever in Amazon.com history was the Victorinix pairing knives. Mm -hmm. It really opened up people to have luxury knives however the need for some products andrew sometimes it's situational for example andrew have you ever seen these space age self-cleaning cat litter boxes right i mean i don't you wouldn't need this right well you wouldn't you need this it. unless you have a cat but guess what people with cats they swear by these okay okay guess what andrew if you have sleep apnea you're gonna need a cpap machine to breathe um Otherwise, guess what? If you have pets, you're going to need a robot vacuum. But so these are like very situational 10 out of 10 items. But I'm just talking about items that I think everybody could use. By the way, I have a friend, Andrew. He didn't even drink water until he got these Gatorade squeeze bottles. And that increased his water consumption by 3x. Probably added on years to his life. Because it's fun to squeeze water into your mouth. He's just a guy. It's also fun to drizzle small ass sauce on your food. Well, I guess it was uh, his whole thing was like, well, he doesn't have to expend energy like drinking it with his mouth when you squeeze it in the back of your throat. Point number one, Andrew, we've got the U Scooters GT Sport 2024. Mm. And guess what, Andrew? Right now, we've got a Fung Bros code that if you go to uscooters.com, you can save $220 off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. $200 off? $220 by off. By using our Fung Bros code. So this is a crazy code. So they're really, guys, we're not getting paid money to do this. We do have you scooters and we have the code. What, so, what, but you know how a lot of people have a lot of different scooters. No. What can you say about- This is the best one, guys. I, I, I We've talked about it before. I don't want to take too long, but basically you scooters, definitely the best scooter for the city. Uh, maybe not the, it's not the longest range scooter, I understand, but it is 100%. If you are running errands around the city, you're going several miles at a time. You got to run groceries. You can even ride someone on the back. I'm not saying you scooters would sanction well, cause it. Because it's a long deck. Yeah, it's a long deck and it's super quick and the it has airless tires. They're very grippy on the ground. Great suspension, very portable. Folding it down and bringing it into the subway or into restaurants is no issue, guys. It is the best one. It's better than the Nine Bot. It's way better than the Xiaomi scooters. It is better. Oh, then, the uh, best one of its size and weight bar whoa, done. Way better than the Unagi. Better than the Unagi, guys. It is the best electric scooter in its weight class, under 40 pounds, by bro, bro, far. If you want to go to 26 pounds, you could get the Booster V. If you really are a light person that needs to carry it a lot, 26 pounds on the Booster V, guys. You still get a discount with the code FUNGBROS on uscooters.com. Number two, Andrew, Bose Ultra Earbuds. I love these. I do it. I would take these over AirPod Pros 10 out of 10 times. And I think that a lot of people, you know, they like the ecosystem with Apple and stuff like that. But literally, these are just the best earbuds that I've ever used in my entire life. I will say this though, the only reason they have a 3.9 on Amazon is because they do have connectivity issues. I had to get mine replaced by Bose one time, but the second pair they sent me worked perfect. Number three, Andrew, we got the Sonos Move. Mm. I think that this is bar none, the most powerful small Bluetooth speaker ever made. Yeah, it sounds really good too, guys. Uh, 
I have no problem with JBLs. I think JBLs are pretty good. They're very durable. It's also a meme though. Yeah, the, and the sound is not as great. Sonos gives you the best. I know a bunch of restaurants in New York City that use this as their primary source of music in the corner of their restaurant. And it's good enough for small restaurants. It sounds rich, has a nice, has a right. nice balance so, between bass and treble. So you're saying the Sonos sounds so good that they're taking a consumer item, but they're using it as a professional tier item. Yes, yes. Number four, for me, Andrew, I'm not saying for you, I know you like more of the slimmer wallets, a Mayfair vault wallet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, guys, this is a new style of wallet that mimics actually a female's purse wallet because women have actually always carried really big wallets that were almost like, it's almost like folding out a tablet versus a cell phone for a long time. But now they're starting to shrink that, take the same form factor, but make it for men's. Mm -hmm. This is the Mayfair vault wallet. You can carry a ton of stuff in there. Uh, eye drops. I got Pepto-Bismol tabs in my wallet. Number five, Andrew, passport organizer. I think that it's crazy because sometimes when I'm at the airport, I'm the only one with one, and I see everybody else holding their passport and all their boarding passes and a trillion other things in their hands. Yeah, no, I mean, to be honest, I, sometimes for trips, I don't even take this off. I'll just keep it on me while I take a nap or sleep on the plane. It's safe, secure, always on me. You can carry everything, extra foreign cash. You can carry your little, I, I know we used to have the SIM, SIM card pin little pointer right thing. Right back when SIM cards were a yeah, thing. Yeah, I right? got hand wipes in there just in case. Yeah, pretty much, dude. This, dude, nasal strips. I got Pepto-Bismol again. I I like to keep Pepto-Bismol. Yo, on me. David got the Pepto on him. Yes. He got the Pepto on him. Uh, number six, toiletry bags. I think that these are super underrated as well. A lot of people have the ones that don't that, that are just like, it's just a bag. But these ones, they fold out into an entire shelf kit. Yeah, definitely. I think these are more worth getting. And plus, when you get back home and you're not traveling, you can just hang it up into your bathroom and it just fits into your bathroom. Like, Listen, guys, 4.8 .4 out of 5 rating with 55,000 ratings. It don't get that much higher than that. Andrew, I know this next one you're a fan of. Let's keep it real. Pimple patches, guys. You don't have to get this brand, but pimple patches are the way to go. They've always worked for me, whether it's the cheaper 3M ones. You can get the Mighty Patch. You can get... The, There's every kind of tier of them, This right? is like a different kind of name brand. You get the ones that are in the stars, like, so you want to put stars on your face and all that. Ba basically, guys, men with acne, even adult acne, use it. Uh, I remember the first time we went to South Korea, Andrew, you, uh, we bought a pack for a dollar and she put them on you for a yeah. dollar. Yeah. That was in the train station too. They had all types of stores. It was a lovely experience. I enjoyed Number it. eight, leave in hair conditioner cream and sea salt spray. Oh my goodness, David. I cannot tell you how big of a fan that you are of this. Yeah. Uh, because it is the lowest impact way to style your hair while still making it look like you styled your hair. Well, David, maybe next video you should style your hair more. I'm because going you're to always style my hats. I'm styling my hair with the sea salt All right, spray. You just need a haircut, but you're going to style your hair the next videos that people watch. The next video, people, and you guys are going to see. Listen, the leave-in hair conditioner, it's so cheap, and so is the sea salt spray, but it gives you about 70% of the look of putting product in yeah. with about 0% of the downside. You can sleep with the hair conditioner cream in. Obviously, if you are using actual hair product, they really would not recommend that you do that. Yeah. I use hair texturizing powder, but I don't like to use too much because it feels like you dry out your hair, but ultimately I just wash it with conditioner or I wash it out with shampoo sometimes. Yes, yes, yes. If you're a celebrity walking the red carpet, this is probably not enough stylistically, but for 85% of guys, this is enough. Number nine, a at-home bench press plus an at-home easy curl bar. I just think, I just realized, man, the bench press for guys, it is such a crazy tool because you can use it as a seat. Obviously, you can bench weights on it. And if you flatten it out, Andrew, you can sit on it like a cafeteria bench. Wow. Yeah, I just think it's really useful. I mean, that's a very bro thing to have in your house to use as a chair, though. Yeah, I, I wish I would have bought one earlier. I, I love the one that I got. Uh, number 10, a battery pack or a battery case for your phone. Why are people still in the airport plugging in their phones into the wall? It's because they don't have a battery case. Right. They don't have a battery pack. They didn't do, they didn't spend $20. Yeah, I would say it's definitely worth $20, guys. I'm not saying spend $200 on a battery pack. 
it's worth 30 bucks. Yeah, because especially nowadays, some people, maybe they feel like phone upgrades are so iterative, they're keeping their old phone because it works great, but the battery performance is dipping and declining over time, over usage, just because that's the nature of lithium ion. Uh, moving on, I really like phone kickstands. I think nowadays in 2024, the phones are getting so good, everybody should use them as mini TVs. Yes, I have a phone case with a sturdy kickstand. Uh, I actually have come to like it. You I like it a You lot. watch stuff on it. Yes. Have you ever watched a movie on it? I don't watch movies on my phone, David. Uh, number 12, Korean skincare and hair care products. Mm. I just think that they're, uh, they're cheaper than Japanese products. The English side tends to be like more accessible than Japanese products. And uh, yeah, they're just like, they have this perfect cross section of affordability, usability, and availability because right. a lot of Korean skincare products are obviously exported now to the Western world. And guess what, Andrew? Genetically designed for Asians. Right, right, right. Uh, Ameri Andrew, if you get American crew anything, American crew anything, it's not designed for Asians. Oh, guess what else comes from Korea? Jong Kwan Jong Ginseng. Guys, this is the number one ginseng supplement brand on Amazon. Very trusted. Check it out. Uh, I would just say ginseng, you know, ever since started working with them, obviously we've been drinking it. I, I've yep. used it in my life. It's, it, it works. It works. It, it does work. It works. It works. I'm as not a, just saying that it yeah. works. It, it, is it, I, I, I mean, there's similarities to coffee, but I want to say you definitely feel some jolt and you feel some type of kind of like, I guess, I don't want to say crazy surge, but like definitely like a alertness a little bit and you don't feel a crash either yeah and and, and uh, you're supporting ancient asian medicine so check it out number 13 my favorite type of belt for me i'm not saying for you andrew corded weave belt i just like this because it's just you can make you can make the corded weave belt any size are they stretchy some stretch more than others because obviously you don't want it to stretch too much because then that defeats the purpose of the yeah, belt. I mean, I feel like this is out of convenience. I wonder what the fashion guys would have to say about it. But honestly, it's useful. And I just think in 2024, people are past looking. People do not want to see your Versace belt buckle anymore. Like that's the old days, Gucci belt buckle, Versace yeah, I would say LV you, belt buckle. That's whack. If you tuck in your shirt though, you obviously have to think about what belt you're using. But ultimately, if you don't, it doesn't matter. I don't know when the last time I tucked in my shirt was, but probably when I wore a suit. Uh, yeah, you're right. I would If I was wearing a suit, I would get different a different belt. But for 90% of situations. Number 14, premium nail clippers. I don't think a lot of guys understand premium nail clippers can make you clip your nails more and have your nails just in better condition. Um, number 15, you got to invest in anything, Andrew, that separates you from the ground, whether that's shoes, insoles, mattresses. This applies to tires on your car. Don't cheap out on tires on your car. You could die. Don't cheap out. Like we said, you scooter GT. When we're on the scooter, I see people out with like $300 scooters sometimes, and they're weaving in and out of traffic. I'm like, I would never entrust my life with like a discount contraption. I would just get the premium contraption with the Fun Bros code. Um, a helmet, you know, uh, get... You know, you just got to get the folding helmets, whatever makes you wear the helmet because you just need a helmet. Number 16, some sort of cordless vacuum. Mm -hmm. So I just looked it up, Andrew. The Dyson knockoffs are officially out for $150. And, they're, and the, they're the same wattage as the regular Dyson. Whoa. So obviously a regular Dyson vacuum, let's just say, for example, like a cordless V11. I want to say it's like 500 and the what the dupes or whatever they're selling on Amazon from China are 130. Whoa. Yo, that's pretty crazy. Number 17, Kasori Dual Zone Air Fryer. I just think that the air fryer changes your life. It allows you to cook singular proteins, any sort of meal, super easy, changes your life. I would yeah. buy one in an instant if somebody took away the Kasori. Whoa, crazy. Number 18, Japanese brands. I'm talking about clothing brands, Andrew. Visvim. On the high end, Uniqlo on the low end. High end of a watch, Grand Seiko. Low end of a watch, Seiko. High end of a car, Lexus. Lower end, Toyota. I'm just saying, Zojirushi rice cookers, even the J Japanese knifeware. You know what I mean? Like, why are Japanese products just irreplaceable? Mm. Number 19, electric kettles. You got to use one for a lot of health applications. Mm-hmm. 
a lot of people need it for tea. A lot of people need it for tonics, different things that they're making. Number 20, uh, I got a, uh, a height riser for my laptop so I can actually type the laptop at my like head level. Because a lot of times people don't know they're actually like hurting their neck and straining their neck muscles by looking down. Yep. And number 21, a large water filter. A lot of people use a lot of filtered water for a lot of applications, especially, for example, if you use sinus rinses, you do different things, you need to wash your eyes, you need filtered water to do it. A large water filter is the best way to accomplish that. Mm. Um, Andrew, here's some honorable mentions that I had to throw in there that I know you're into. Kitchen scissors. I love me some kitchen scissors. Very easy to use. Well, what do they eliminate the need for? What, a cutting for board? For dicing, yeah. You know, I mean... Not some things you have to cut on a cutting board, potatoes, you know, the bigger items, uh, tomatoes, it's kind of hard to scissor those. They're going to look really ugly, but little stuff like scallions, just cut them with scissors, bro. Eliminate onions. I cut onions with the kitchen scissors, milk frother, electric, you know, if you need to mix your coffee in the morning, heated or cold blankets. A lot of people are saying this is so much better than heating or making your whole house cold. Yeah. It costs way less to do this. Just get a cold blanket or a hot blanket. Get a weighted one if you want to feel like somebody's hugging you to bring you back to your prenatal stage. Um, what are some other things? So those are the 21 things that we recommend, guys. What are some other things that you cannot live without and you would highly recommend and that you would buy in a heartbeat if for somehow, for some reason, somebody was to take it away from you? I think... The weird thing is a lot of people would go, oh, you know, you don't need these things. They just make a life a little bit more convenient. But for some people, it's just like the guy we know that wouldn't drink water unless it was from a Gatorade squeeze bottle. As individuals, some people have these weird little idiosyncrasies as humans that a gadget can fix that idiosyncrasy. Mm. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like again, guys, check out the used scooters. Code Fun Bros, $220 off. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.